Well, I don't get out much. So, I have a constant problem throughout my career, which is that my batteries get low because I don't drive my car enough for the alternator to actually effectively charge them. And the thing I hate doing is resetting my clock and radio preferences. So, what I'm going to do, since you can't charge the battery while it's connected, at least you're not supposed to, is I'm going to use jumper cables and another battery that is charged, but not the right size for this car. I'm going to disconnect the existing terminals and I'm going to jump them before I disconnect them to this other battery. And that should keep my preferences and then I'll just do a charge cycle using this charger on the battery that's in here. Seems like a good idea. All right, some things to point out. This is the positive, this is the negative, this is the positive, this is the negative. We want these to be a parallel circuit. So we'll connect positive to positive off of the existing battery and negative to negative. There we go. Now I just need to loosen this and take it off. There we go. And I don't actually have to take this off. This can stay on. <clears throat> Although, come to think of it, I probably should take it off because the smart charger I'm using may actually decide to flip-flop in order to restore. I think it would only do that if I was desulfating, but just in case, I'll go ahead and take this off. There we go. And you don't want to touch your positive to the chassis or anything that's metal. Um, that's part of the body. I just need to charge this existing battery. Turn on the old charger. Turn it on. Uh, that's just the old, uh, the fan's bearings are kind of crap. Here we go. I think we're good. So, if I wanted to, I could actually start the car and it would still be fine because it's connected to this battery over here. So hopefully this finishes up before too long so that I can uh, disconnect this and not worry about rain or anything like that. It's a pretty clear day, so it should be fine. All right, so my battery is full and it did happen within a day, or rather within a few hours really. But it's dark out, so this footage isn't gonna be great. So now what I'm gonna do is because these, uh, this clamp is already connected, so it's still tied to that other battery, I'm going to remove the charger clamps, and then I need to get this back on here, and this back on here. And now I just need to get these back on here, just tighten them down. I'll do that and then I'll check if my preferences were actually saved. All right, so car should be charged up. Turn it back on. Let's see. Yep, knows the time. And my radio preferences are still there. Cool. Looks like it worked. Well, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.